What's up, buds? I am about to install a new flight controller. So before I put it in the quad, I'm going to coat it up with Worry Free, and I'm going to quickly show you how to do it. Uh, this is my setup. This is a busted frame, and it's just got a standoff in the end of the frame that holds the flight controller up. Makes it really nice and easy to paint it without it getting sticky and touching the table and getting stuck to my desk, which is questionably uh, levels of cleanliness. Uh, <laughs> I swear, I only set it on fire a couple of times. Uh, but yeah, here we go. So first thing I always like to do is paint the bottom. I'm gonna paint everything across the bottom from edge to edge because I'm not gonna solder anything at all on this side. And then over here on this side, I'll be flipping it without flipping the whole frame, but just for quick and easy, I'm gonna show you what I'll paint on this side. So first thing I wanna do is if you have your uh, plugs, plug the plugs in. Plug them in here and plug them in here just to block those holes and keep you from fucking up and getting anything inside of the plugs. Uh, if you got the kit from Worry Free, it's got a little silicone plug and you can plug that right in the USB as well. But also plug in your connectors that came with the flight controller so that the, you don't get any trash up inside of there. The uh, second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint everything but the ports I plan to use. So. Uh, I'll be using this area over here is where I'm going to do my uh, receiver and my buzzer is going to go right over here and um, I don't use the plugs so my uh, connection for my MSP for my receiver or my VTX is going to come over here as well. So I'm not going to use any of these ports or plugs. I'm going to use three of these. I'm going to use none of those. I want to keep this bind button protected as well, so I'll paint right around the edge of it. And uh, here we go. So here we are back on the back side, and I just spooged a big old pile of Worry Free on it. And then I'm going to take my prop and just use it like a butter knife to spread it all over. Making sure I cover up every little component every little pad don't run up over the edges of it I do like to paint the very edge of the board but I don't have my plugs in yet so I'm not going to paint the edges of the board until I put my plugs in so that I know I can keep it safe it's probably a little more conformal coating than I needed for one side but I like to put it on thick so that I don't have no problems I want to be 100% worry free. And let me just rake a little over here to these pads and cover up that bit of the USB. And there we go. Did I miss any spots? Look real close. Now it's important that you're getting around the edges of all this stuff. Yeah, it's good. Let me flip it. Now on the top side, it's the same shit. I put a big glob in the middle, and then I'm going to use my prop to spread it all out. Make sure I get it right up against the back of those plugs. Try to avoid the pads that you're going to use. Uh, if you do get it on a pad that you're going to use, it's not a big deal. You can use a fingernail, just kind of scrape it back. And just do a reset, but I prefer to uh, to not fuck up the pads that I'm going to solder on so they're nice and clean. Should have tightened this down a little bit more. It's drifting. Hang on. And there she is, all ready to go. Uh, so again, I left my pads open here so that I can solder that shit clean. My port is open. I pat did everything up to the edge leaving the pads where I can get to them and then when I solder this in I'm just going to take another dab of conformal coating and cover right up over the joints just to seal the deal but that's it, it takes about an hour to dry and uh, I like to do all the boards beforehand it just makes it easier to get perfect coverage and once there's wires and shit all over the place and in the way it's quite a bit more difficult but uh, that's it. Nice thick layer of silicone to keep everything safe from the water. Uh, this is worry-free FPV.
from Brandon FPV. I've got them here in the store. This is an old tube. Tube lasts me uh, 10 or 20 complete builds. Uh, pretty good life out of it for an $8 tube. Uh, mine's the old style. It's like yellow. The new shit is clear and has even got expiration dates on it so you know how uh, long it's been sitting on the shelf. But for me, as long as it still flows, it's still good. Once it gets hard, oh, there's a little dab on that. Once it gets hard, then it's no longer useful. But as long as you can still squeeze it, you're good to go. Uh, yeah, worry-free. I'm going to go get my shit wet.